we'll just take a swig of our water and if you're just watching along I would recommend you hydrate as well oh I suddenly have more viewers hey hi Demi welcome to the stream uh, I think you caused my stream to um, yeah, you coming in actually made my stream reset. <laughs> but welcome in, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. And I uh, hope everything's going good with you. Since you're just popping in to say hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, just gonna adjust the camera a little bit. There we go. drink that water it's quite an old ah look at that a cute little dragon on top just like in the church window are they cheering for the dragon or running from it I'm not sure what good that would do Oh, no, they may, she means on top of the lamppost there's a dragon. I really do love these. They're just so big and detailed and just lovely. Eee. That's a stained glass window for you. Hello. Hello, koala. Uh, why are you saying boo? Oh, you're just trying to scare me. Spooky. That won't work. Shatter it with telekinesis. No way. Fine. I really do love. Mm, no, I have to be careful with this. It's a precious item. So, get it? No, that didn't work. Oh, fine, then we'll shatter it with telekinesis. No way. Okay, same, same thing. Okay. Oh, much bins. Ah, uh, no, I'll pass. I looked at more than enough gross things in Winfrieda's tower. But there could be a useful item in there. Blech. No thanks. Fine, use telekinesis. My telekinesis won't work here. Fine, okay. That's uh. <laughs> Surprise counter attack. Oh no, I don't have a counter. It's super effective. Alright, let's go back to the village square. And. What else can I do? No, that. I can see there's like a piece of something there on the top of the blacksmith's house, but I don't know. What Hello? To do with it. Huh? I. Uh, oh. No, it's still the same dialogue. It's a wanted post. I don't. Oh. I can just leave. Okay. <laughs> I will pretend I didn't read that. <laughs> The alleyway. Can I go inside the church? Probably can. The village. I'm curious about the store. Hello. Uh, hello. Oh, goody. A little girl. That's Did you not reaction. read the sign? No, of course you didn't. <gasps> a toy store. Look at that music box. That's not just a music box. That's an heirloom oh, of the great okay. Viennese dancer. <gasps> Look at that puppy. Oh, that's so cute. <sighs> really, is it any wonder I don't like kids in here? That, my dear child, is the exquisite craftsmanship of the late Madame. <gasps> Look at that monkey. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing cymbals. Oh my gosh. So, so cute. Your store has so many cute things, mister. Hmm, yes, whatever you say. You don't seem to be leaving, so go ahead, look around. <laughs> then be off with you. You can't afford anything anyway. That's true. 
I am broke. No, I'm I'm just teasing you, um, Koala. <laughs> I don't really mind it either way. I'm not sure I've seen such a sour-looking man before. Mm. Look at all this stuff I can steal. I mean, break. I mean, take. You can't prove anything. Wow. Grandpa has one of these at home. But this one is really beautiful. Maybe before I go back with the cure, I can get this for a present. All right, let me just take it. Excuse me, mister. How much is this? Much too much. Like everything else in here. Hmm. That's not very helpful. My telekinesis won't... Or will it? How about I give you this diamond? What can I get with this? Th that's... Gah! Where did you... <clears throat> I, I mean... Oh, uh, a shiny rock. No, silly. It's a diamond. These are meant to be worth a bit, aren't they? Oh, yes. How silly of me. I'm not so sure they're worth that much, really. Enough for that pretty violin, maybe? Ha! <laughs> Good grief, no. No, oh. I think this is more in the range of... That lantern. Over there on the ground. <laughs> that's about all this can buy. Don't lie to children. Oh, that's it? Nothing else? At all? Take it or leave it. My final offer. Well, I guess it is more useful than a little stone. All right, it's a deal. <laughs> it's a bad deal. Hey, wait a second. This is broken. It's an antique, you little brat. <laughs> what do you expect? Nothing lasts forever. Oh, yeah. yeah sure. I guess that's fair enough. Thank you for the trade, mister. Mm, just get out of here. No. I'm touching all your stuff. Oh, this looks particularly special. So shiny and detailed and pretty. There's an engraving on it that says it's a magical violin. Enchanted to play the most sweetest music, no matter how inexperienced the player. Oh. oh. And as a result, the single most valuable, expensive, and unaffordable item in this shop. Oh. It's the violin from the Court of the Oro. Cool, cool, cool. What else you got? Top hat? Ooh, it's like a magician's hat. I wonder if there's any rabbits in there. Excuse me, mister. How much is this? Much like too so much. much. Like, like everything, everything else, else in here. Hmm. Okay, it's gonna be the same dialogue. I'm just gonna... Ooh, what an interesting assortment of things. A necklace, a spinning top, a train. Excuse me, mister. Much... Hmm. Aw, he is a cute one. But... Also a little crazy looking. Indeed. He is a rabid. Excuse me. Much. Hmm. That'd be. I'll shatter your violin. Maybe I should try some. No, I could hurt him. Uh, nightcap? Oh, clown hat. Oh, I always wanted to see a clown. His hat looks a bit rough, too. Must have been a clown that traveled a lot. Excuse me. Much. Hmm. I kind of want to know the history behind this stuff, but. Not sure the writer has even prepared that. Oh, these are really quite lovely. Such pretty details and artwork. Odd, dusty, dirty clothes. Must be a strange kind of fellow to wear something like that. Othello, perhaps? Camo, Camillo Dalek? Oh, probably another um, reference to a different game they made. There was someone who fell into a haystack earlier and I got the similar achievement. Such odd. Must be a strange kind. Excuse me, mister. How much? Much. Hmm. Yep, same dialogue. He's playing cymbals. Oh my gosh. So, so cute. Abu. 
Excuse me, Mr. Much too. Hmm. Ding. I think it's for getting the shopkeeper's attention, like this. Ding. <laughs> Ding. I'm right here. You really <laughs> don't have to do that. I did though. No. Tell. I'm not sure I've. Mm. Excuse me, sir. Do you? Nope. But I. Please, no more talking. Just be done with your looking and leave me be. Oh, okay then. All right. Later. We'll get the diamond. We'll get something worth the diamond later. Uh, let's see this. Oh. It's a beautiful lantern. Only thing is, it's broken. Somehow I think I got a little ripped off on this deal. A little? You gave a diamond. <laughs> Well, then again, diamonds are only worth so much because of the value that um, the industry plays on it. It's not actually a valuable gem. Glass rub a glass ruby would have been priceless in medieval times. But now it's just, you know, a ruby made of glass or a factory cut ruby. Where's the sign saying tavern? Oh, okay. So that's what, that's what caused me to go into Hello tavern again, right here. sir. Evening again, little miss. You found that wizard friend of yours? I did. He, well, she was in the alley after all. So thank you. Aye. Well, now you see, now I need to find a lake behind the mill somewhere. The mill is straight behind this here tavern. And then past that is them there woods. Great. Okay then, thanks once again. <clears throat> um, sorry? He says to hold on, little miss, not so hasty. Okay. Really? All of that? Do you really hear what he's saying? Because to me... Aye, those there woods, protected by old magic there. Oh. Folks going out there, they need themselves a good guide, see? The blacksmith, he's one, but he's been away a while now. And then there's this fellow Gil, wetting his lips here. Oh, I see. Then, hello there, sir. Hmm. Nice to meet you, Gil. Working hours are up for Gil today, though. And now he's started at the bar. Well, so long as there's beer for him, he ain't going nowhere. But this oh. is a tavern. He must have a lifetime of beer. Aye. Mm. Fill her up. Ain't those wires look, look too complicated. It's just two wires. I'm guessing the bartender must see different people come in and out of here all... I bet it... Here you go. Such a grumpy... Mm. Grandpa told me that beer is really bad for you. Grandpa told me that beer is really bad for you. He told me it damages your brain and makes you angry, irate, and disgruntled. Mm. Yeah, that's right. <sighs> that's what's fun about it. I guess Grandpa was right. Please, please, please take me to the lake. I'll be your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you're not invited to my birthday party then. I like he was considering it. Uh, never mind. Can you stop serving him? Where did the blacksmith go then? Them there woods. Looking to put an end to the so-called beast of the woods roaming out there. Ooh. Beast of the woods? Do you know if he'll be back soon? Well, that's hard to say. I do. Seeing as he's gone about two weeks now, I'm favoring he won't. Oh my! What, what if the beast got him? Has anyone looked for him? Well, I would do. Poor little girl of his left running that shop all alone. Only thing is, you need a guide for them there was. Oh, yes, of course. Sir, you have to help me find the girl's father. <sighs> Really? A lost father? Mm -hmm. yeah. Hmm. You should be ashamed, sir. And you! You are no better. You keep serving him. But, but, um, I'm a bartender. <laughs> Ugh. That's his job. All right. Thank you, mister. Better get back to what I was doing. Aye. That's... 
All right. Uh, these pipes here. No, nope, not. Mm. Hey. Aha! I'm getting good at this. All that practice is really paying off now. It didn't explode this time. But I'll be back for that. Uh, the antique shops. More villagers. They were all hiding away from Ben. Okay. Speaking of Ben, how you doing, Ben? Hi, Ben. Oh, hello again. I found the magician. I found the magician. Well, sorceress. I found her, and she can make the cure. But it's complicated. Apparently, it's not a sickness. It's a curse. A curse? Oh dear. Who would do that to your grandpa? Winfrieda? No. Maybe. I don't know. But I'll need some time to find all the things needed to break it. Of course. Of course. Take as long as you need. Do you really think Winfrieda is the one who made my grandpa ill? Why would she hurt grandpa though? Unless... Unless she wanted me to leave the farm. If somehow she knew I had this power... Uh-huh. She would want you to leave so she could kidnap you. That's the obvious answer. I think you're onto something here. But why not just come into the farm? Why not just kidnap me there? Hmm. Alright. Guess I better get back out there. Okay. Good luck. Welcome, Hello. young traveler. The stars be upon you. And you as well. He's a cheerful looking old chap. Tell me your secrets. Hi there. Uh, your grace? Sir? Your holiness? Oh, dear child. No, no, please. Theodore will suffice. I'm sorry. It's my first time in a church. But it's nice to meet you, Theodore. My name's Anna. And a pleasure to meet you too, young one. Your church is very beautiful, Theodore. <laughs> Indeed it is. But, alas, it isn't mine. I'm simply looking after it, so to speak. Mm. And caring for all the people who come seeking the Red Dragon's protection. Oh, the dragon. I was told about a dragon that could fly people to the Glass Mountains. Ah, yes, that she could. However, it's now all so difficult to know. Anyone who greeted her as she sat atop the bell tower would be granted free passage throughout the land. Some say knowledge of the dragon has been lost to time. Others say that it's all but a myth. Oh, the fast travel I simply sure. stay here to carry on what she stood for and represented. That is important, with or without her. Okay, so the people in the, the first uh, St. Glass window are cheering. You say the dragon stood for something important? Oh, very much so. Her very presence drove the shadows from the land. You see, her scales were the red fire to light the way, and in turn, she protected us from the dark. But my grandpa told me there's nothing to be scared of in the dark. One time I was scared. But then Grandpa laughed because it was just a tree branch scraping on my window. <laughs> yes, it is true. Often the dark is nothing but a trickster. Unfortunately, the Lord of Dark revels in such tricks. The L Lord of Dark? Oh yes, Mephistopheles. He's known for his many names and many guises. Hmm. But be not afraid, for thanks to the Red Dragon, we are all safe. That's Her presence forced him deep into the earth, you see. That is His trickery flag. contained. Ooh. Okay, I'll keep it secret. And uh, you might want to chat a bit more because um, I do have my chat on screen. So maybe don't have it visible if Hanabi ends up showing up in my stream. Did you say the dragon would fly people from the bell tower? Where's that? I, yes, it's right through the door behind you. 
Alas, for many generations now, the door has been sealed shut. For years I've looked for a means to open it, but for years it has remained closed. This place was built entirely for the love of the Red Dragon. I'm sure many answers lie here, somewhere, before our eyes. I'm but an old man, not a detective. Any such indications have managed to elude me. Ooh, a detective mystery. That sounds kind of fun. Maybe I can have a look around for clues. <laughs> but of course. Be my guest, young one. Alright. I really enjoy the point and click genre, even though it's kind of a slow burn. Especially when there's um, fun interactions you can have with items. And this game is one of those rare occasions where it's fully voice acted and the voices are also fun. Big windows at the back are so, so pretty. I love them. Oh yes, they really are remarkable, aren't they? I'm constantly in awe of their beauty. They commemorate the Red Dragon's work in chasing away the Lord of Dark. Oh wow, I would never have imagined something like that really happening. Just happened to open the door for uh, just ha I had just had to open the door in case one of the puppies wanted to um, go out. Do all these paintings around the room tell a story to them? Indeed, they do. They tell their own story about Wunderhorn's days of magic. Ooh, hmm. could you tell it to me? By all means, I'd be glad to. Where would you like me to start? All right, just tell me about the first three books. Can you tell me about the busy looking painting over there on the left? This was in the days before magic, when darkness and chaos ruled the land. Great okay. powers were at odds. None could maintain order. What about the serene painting? What about this serene painting? It looks rather pleasant. Ah, yes, the second painting. This was a momentous time when the first witches of Wunderhorn rose to power. By their demonstrations of benign sorcery, they contained evil and brought peace and order. Okay, so the witches and the warlocks were good guys. Got it. Who is the man in the portrait over there? Philip Vogt, a direct descendant of the great witches and a crucial part of Wunderhorn's history. It was Philip who created the most powerful of spells. He summoned a dragon to ah. banish the dark. It is said he built a shrine deep within a glade in Wunderhorn's woods in order to cast it there. This spell was of such power, it cost him his own life. As he summoned the red dragon, he perished to save us all. Oh, wow. What a brave, selfless man. A shrine deep in Fundahorn's woods, huh? I wonder if I'm able to find that at all. Wait a second. Oh, one second. I know where I've seen him before. Here. I have a picture of him. Here, see? It looks just like him, don't you think? By the stars. I think you're right, young one. Where did you find this? Uh, it's a long story, but I found it in the witch's house. Hmm, how curious. And the girl here, it must be... It's Philip's daughter, Queen Yannicke. This girl is the queen? We don't really know much about kings and queens out on my farm. Indeed, it is her. As a child, of course. Sadly, though, about a year ago, she just vanished. No one knows how or why. Yet another somber, unsolved mystery, I'm afraid. We're going to switch over to the... Oof. We're going to switch over to the uh, BNG Tuber. One second. There we go. Because I need to check my order. Because they, I think they tried to call me. But yeah, um, the painting actually had a resemblance in the family portrait we got from the witch's house. Can you tell me about the sad looking painting on the right? Yes, uh, a sad painting indeed. A woman banishing a child for an 
unforgivable sin. The woman was said to be a great witch of Winderhorn, and the girl, her very own daughter. Little is known of it, but the painting is said to have been made by a mute child who witnessed the tragic scene. Jeez, this is too sad. Let's talk about something else. Hmm. Weird. They're nowhere near, but they called me. Okay. Well, we're gonna keep the PNG tuber for a bit in case um, something else happens to my order. So a child was banished by a woman. Huh. Thanks for your help, Theodore. I best get going. Of course, young one. The stars be with you. Yep. Uh, you too, Mr. Theodore. He's a cheerful looking old. So this is the serene looking painting up here. Or sad painting, rather. Mm, I don't like this one. The girl looks so scared. She's reaching to this lady. The lady is just looking away and ignoring her. No, it looks good where it is. Hmm. There's a little message here. It says, To keep lit the light of the red dragon and help her hold back the darkness. I'm not going to take... I'm not going to take something from a church. Burn it all down. I shouldn't use my power on that. Fine. Such a serious looking man. Just sitting there, writing with his quill. Being serious. No. Hmm. It looks quite calm. There's some important looking people in the middle. And everyone around them is just watching them. Like they are in awe. The great witches, huh? No. Well, piano. It's a big old beautiful church organ. It must play amazing music. Well, it would if you knew how to play. Which I don't. You can try. Can I actually... I can. I could make it sound this bad. Only I could make it sound this bad. Only I could make it sound this bad. I could make it sound this Only I could make it sound this bad Only I could make it sound this bad could make it sound ah, close enough you can ring my bell ring my bell 